So, so have you completed uh, AWS DevOps or is it uh, still going on? So uh, AWS, a uh, few concepts are pending. Uh, uh, I'm about to complete, but whatever you ask, if I am uh, okay with them, I am ready to answer the questions. No problem. Okay. How about Linux? Uh, Linux uh, just started uh, two days back. Uh, so I gave uh, introduction and uh, installation, but uh, I have come across few comments in Linux while I'm dealing with uh, uh, AWS. You ask me uh, yeah, if I am comfortable yeah, sure, sure. and I am aware, uh, definitely I'll, I'll uh, uh, try my best to give sure. the answers. So uh, in AWS, you know, you might be provisioning some servers, right? Yeah. So sure. how do you connect the, uh, you know, you might be using uh, Linux-based machines from AWS. Okay. So when you are connecting, how are you connecting to AWS servers? Right, to connect to an instance or uh, so-called servers you are asking, there are uh, four ways, I hope I'm not wrong, uh, like easy to direct connect we have. Uh, connection through session manager and SSH connect and uh, serial console. These are the different ways we use to connect to a server or easy to instance. And when you are logging in, uh, there is a key based authentication. So do you know how it works? Uh, key pair, uh, right. Uh, uh, key yes. pair, a uh, set of uh, public and private key. They are asymmetrical keys, right? Uh, where uh, yes. public key is stored in the instance and uh, we the user get the private key. And uh, while uh, logging into that, uh, do, uh, it uh, uh, let us or enable us to connect to the instance by handshake mechanism. Okay. Fine. Um, so, what are the types of storages you have used in your uh, the course? The, the course? storages I have used uh, Elastic Block uh, Storage, EBS Storage, like block level storage and file level storage, EFS. Uh, I, I have an idea I didn't uh, get to use, and uh, I've come to use uh, object storage, uh, S3 bucket also. And apart from this, we have this ephemeral uh, short-lived storage, instance storage also. So these are the different types of storages I have come across in AWS series. Okay. So is there any limit to create some buckets? Uh, yes, of course, ABS uh, provides uh, uh, any uh, limit uh, to the uh, buckets, but which I'm uh, not aware. In the sense, number of buckets you're asking me, right? Yes, the number of buckets, yeah. So yeah. I'm from a project, uh, you know, I'm giving access to certain people. Okay. So, uh, you know, they might go end up with creating multiple number of buckets. So is there any uh, restriction we can, we can shift, uh, uh, you know, is there any from AWS? Uh, basically, I, I know that uh, uh, there is a restriction for, uh, uh, there is a number uh, for restriction, but uh, I'm not aware uh, how many number of buckets we can create within a, uh, uh, for a particular account. I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. Fine. Okay. Um, so you know, uh, you have an instance in AWS. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I'm trying to delete the instance, but I don't have access to delete the instance. I'm not able to delete the instance. Terminate in the sense. Okay. So what is the you know what is the reason? Then, uh, the person must be enabling a termination protection for the instance. So uh, when the termination protection is enabled uh, by any means, we cannot uh, terminate the instance. That is a safety precaution uh, to avoid accidental termination of the instance. If at all you have to delete an instance, then you have to log into the console. You have to disable the termination protection. Only then we can terminate the instance. Okay. So uh, you know, I have a group of uh, five members in my team. Okay. okay. So whatever the first guy who provisions the server should yeah. be seen by the other guy. So you know they should have the same level of access. So how can we achieve that? Yeah, we can uh, copy the instance settings uh, from the existing user. Okay, so not only the instance, I would say like whatever the um, storage buckets or you know, whatever he's creating, okay. all five users would be having same level of access and whatever they are creating, they should be able to view each other yeah, also. We can create an AMI, AMI image uh, uh, for whatever the setup he has. And using uh, that AMI image, we can uh, get down whatever the exact uh, things he has, uh, or the configurations or settings he has, we can uh, replicate in the uh, new existing, uh, new creating uh, instance. Okay, uh, I'm not specific to EC2. I'm, uh, so it's it's not specific to EC2 here. Okay. So it's, I'm talking about the entire AWS services, like, uh, you know, you might be coming across with multiple services in AWS, right? Okay. So, uh, he might be creating storage or he might be creating some databases. So whatever he's creating, you know, other persons should be able to view as well as, you know, uh, they should have the same level of access in uh, across. We can database. create the user in his groups that, that will do better. Okay. Fine. So, um, you know, how do you increase or decrease, um, you know, based on the load functionality? Like how are you going to spread the load? 
Yeah, Amazon uh, you... Amazon provides this excellent uh, uh, provision or uh, facility to increase or decrease the number of instances based on the uh, uh, load on the instances, and we call it as auto scaling. Okay. So, uh, how many types of auto scaling are there? Uh, auto scalings. Uh, actually, I'm not sure the types of uh, auto scalings. Okay, so oh, uh, I mean, auto scaling uh, like uh, instance auto scaling, and uh, if it is in the case of a database, we can uh, auto scale the uh, memory that we can attach it. I am not sure uh, what exactly the terms we use. In instance, okay. we can we can auto scale, we can upscale or downscale uh, uh, the number of instances, uh, which exactly replicates the instances based on the load. Whereas uh, when it comes to the case of databases, they are a bit different. There, uh, the memory keeps on adding uh, whenever the data uh, keeps finishing up. Uh, I I I could recognize uh, in my journey uh, these two types of different uh, uh, auto okay. schemes that databases okay. and instances have. Okay. So um, there is something called load balancers. Okay? Yeah, yeah. So uh, what are the types and why are we using two different types of load balancers? Right, commonly. Well, uh, uh, earlier there are the three types of load balancers: classic load balancer, network and application load balancer. But now uh, classic load balancer depleted from AWS, and uh, we have a new load balancer called as gateway load balancer. Mm -hmm. And uh, application load balancer, uh, it handles HTTP and HTTPS. Whereas uh, network load balancer, it concentrates on TCP. It can hold, uh, it can uh, handle any type any kind of ports, right? Okay. So uh, in AWS, like uh, by default, you know, yeah. uh, is it CloudWatch logs are enabled, or is it you know you have to do by some default, configuration? Cloud, CloudWatch uh, logs are not enabled while uh, launching instance or uh, while we are creating an instance. We have to enable CloudWatch so that we can monitor our instance. Detailing CloudWatch only then it is possible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fine. Um, so, on DevOps, have you worked on any DevOps tools? No, my DevOps course is not yet uh, started, but I have idea what DevOps does and what are the tools we are going to use and for what purpose we are going to use. Okay, so you just have some idea and you haven't started a course uh, on DevOps. I have done some research because I am going to work on things in future, I know that. But it is my uh, uh, custom duty that I have to know what I am going to deal with right now. I got some idea regarding the tools that we are going to use in uh, uh, DevOps. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I think I'm done with this. Uh, so, do you have any questions for me? Um, uh, yeah. Uh, actually, being, being formal, that uh, it was to ask me when this is a question in interview, right? Like, uh, uh, may you know uh, what my day-to-day uh, -day roles in the company. Okay. Guess. So, you know, uh, if you are taking as a DevOps engineer, you know. Uh, you might be we end up working with a project as a kind of uh, you need to propose a solution or you need to work on some DevOps particular tools. And if you are going to be a cloud admin on a day to base on a day to day basis, you know you might have multiple projects to manage. So you will be you know you should be familiar with your IAM roles and uh, uh, such things. You know you have to provide a namespace organization to each projects, and you need to deal with those. And uh, you know you need to ensure that. Uh, the overall casting is, uh, you know, it should be less rather than, you know, putting some, uh, you need to restrict some quotas and so lots of stuff right? based on the roles, like how, how are you going to be uh, placed in the project. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Uh, thanks. Uh, thanks.